Business Brain, episode 468 for Friday, July 21st, 2023. Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take a topic, we analyze it, we try to look at it together and really collectively help tune our business brains so that we're better at the things that we do and we can keep on living that charmed life. Sponsors for this episode include PearlDiver.io, where you can really find out who is visiting your website. You got to check this out. We'll talk more in depth about that in a little bit. For now, still here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. I'm still out here in Lafayette, California, Dave. Amazing. Good to talk to you. Yeah, Happy to uh, talk to you. casual Friday. Happy casual Friday. Yeah, I didn't say that in the intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Yep. You know, I used to joke with our employees since we dressed casually every day and, you know, <laughs> shorts. And uh, we, we, I would have them wear lab coats when they had to go meet with uh, uh, sure. customers, but that, that's another story altogether. But I used to joke and say, look, we're going to start uh, formal Friday. So uh, you actually have to dress, <laughs> dress yeah. good. But you know, of course, I was joking around. But, uh, yeah, it's it's an interesting take on things. Yeah, it, well, I mean, and, and that's a I think that's a good thing to do is like showing some levity, you know, some like humility, oh, yeah. a little bit of self-effacing humor, you know, here and there. I like and and high using that to highlight some of the perks that you already are already offering your people. Like it it's difficult if uh, for your employees, if every day, you know, you, if I, like, if I were to sit down and remind my people, oh, it's great. You know, you're super flexible. We're super flexible here. Not only do you get to work from home, but, uh, you know, your hours can be, you know, sort of self-defined a lot of your work here. Certainly there's things that need to get done, but we also leave room for the things that, uh, you know, that you'll life want to yeah. do in life, but also things at work, like, creativity of, of starting yeah. new projects and those sorts of things. Like we definitely leave a lot of that room for people. But if I were to sit down and say that every day, it, it would start no. to like, people would be like, yeah, dude, we know, but like, it, don't they have to keep get it. congratulating yourself. Yes. Right. You, you, you know, have to get it by osmosis. Right. Well, but it you can, to... you can seed the osmosis like you did. Right. Like, cause one of the perks uh, for the people who work for you uh, was that they got to be, you know, dress casually every day, not just Friday, but you pointing out like, Hey, you know, we dress casually every day. Let's, let's do formal Friday. Obviously no one's going to think that that's serious, but it right. allow because they don't treat because they're treating it as, Oh, Shannon's just telling a joke. But in that joke, you're reminding them of a perk. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good persuasion. If you, it's if good you think persuasion. About it that way. Yeah. It's just yeah. a reminder. I mean, it's, you know, let's keep this up. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. It. That's cool. I, yeah. And I, 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 I love that because, you know, we always used to say things to you know, prospective employees. And I, I would always say, Hey, if you know, if they had kids and you could talk about kids or whatever, and I said, look, sure. you'll never miss a, a kid's sporting event or dance recital or have to worry about, you know, taking your kid to the doctor, you know, cause that flexibility is just built in. It's like, we will cover you and make sure that cause, cause that's what it's, it's life. And it makes people, uh, it endears them to you and your company more when you can offer those kinds of things. Uh, totally. Uh, I, I think it's great. No. And I think, I think this is an important thing for, for us as business owners, uh, business managers, you know, whatever your, your role officially is, is to to sit and look at what are the perks that I offer my people? Because you're just like your employees will take many of them for granted. You will take perhaps a few less than your employees will, but you will wind up taking some of these things for granted too. Like I I know that I get to work from home, and so do all of my people. Okay, that's great. How often do we remind each other of that? Rarely. Yeah. I, you know, I yeah, take it for point. granted. I, so. I know they probably do too. In fact, they they might take it for granted less than me, but I don't know. Get you know because well, we don't talk about it. I, you, yeah, you know what I mean. Everybody values the perks differently. Correct. And, exactly. Yeah. But rem, yeah. but taking a minute and you know letting your business tuning your business brain to be aware of all of those perks. Make a list. Now, don't shove that list down the throats of your current employees. You might present that list to prospective employees in an appropriate way to 
show them, you know, the benefits of here. Like, yeah, maybe you could make a little bit more money if you worked for a different company, but here are the things you get to do here and, and let people decide what's valuable to them. And, uh, you know, it's not always just money. Of course, money's going to be involved. And yeah. It's fine. Be competitive. Right. But, but, you know, also looking at that list and just then once you've created the list, it's a two-step process. Now tune your business brain to start finding opportunities to remind everyone yourself included about the perks on the list, because yeah. it, you know, it's, it is good to acknowledge the things that are good in your life and, and be thankful for them. Right. And so if you can do that sincerely, like if I were to sit down with my staff and say, gosh, you know, I, I was, and, and I, I probably will after doing this episode, cause now I'm thinking about it. Like how lucky am I that I get to work from home every day? You know, I have, a great setup. I'm able to be home when I want to be home. I'm able to be at the office, but I, I you know, I, I'm, I'm able to, to do that without having to commute. And, yeah. I, you know, these are wonderful things and like, I'm really thankful for it, but I take it for granted. And if yeah, you can how find, you present them is, find is, a way is to really present good. that sincerely, I, I think makes a huge difference. Right. I like, love the way we've, we've talked about this before, but like, uh, Gary Von Meer from Tech Defenders that has had, yeah. but you know, if you look at their LinkedIn uh, p- a company page, it's constantly talking about you know employees and perks and parties and celebrations of somebody that achieved some new thing. So you pick it up. They don't have to tell you very much of how they treat their employees. And uh, actually, I'd uh, I'd love to talk more about this concept of being in service to your employees. All right. Hey, look, do you still wonder who all those people are who are visiting your website but never convert and then just disappear? Good news. You get to discover the game-changing tool that top professionals are raving about. It's our sponsor, Pearl Diver. Pearl Diver is a cutting-edge platform that provides in-depth visitor identification, enabling you to uncover valuable insights about your website visitors. By uncovering the names, the emails, the company details, and more, Pearl Diver empowers you to turn anonymous traffic into high-quality leads. With Pearl Diver, you'll supercharge your marketing and sales strategy. You don't have to settle for guesswork. Dive deep into your visitor data with Pearl Diver and revolutionize your customer acquisition game. Are you ready to make waves? Yeah, because with Pearl Diver, you get to see actual people visiting your website. You know their names, their emails, their phones, their titles, their company details. And you never have to miss out on the opportunity to engage with your hottest leads. Pearl Diver matches your email interactions with identified website visitors, providing you the insights you need to close your next deal. So go check it out. Visit PearlDiver.io. Again, that's PearlDiver.io. And try Pearl Diver today. And our thanks to Pearl Diver for sponsoring this episode. And while I got you here, I've got a recommendation for you. When it comes to Apple, these folks know what they're talking about. Of course, I'm talking about Leo Laporte of Twit, right? He bought his first Mac over 40 years ago in 1984 and has been an Apple lover ever since. That's probably why they have three, not one, not two, but three Apple podcasts on the Twit podcast network. The oldest one, of course, is Mac Break Weekly. Started almost 20 years ago. Alex Lindsay, Andy Anatko, Jason Snell, and Leo talk about the latest Apple news. They are Apple fans, but not Apple fanboys. They call it as they see it. And sometimes they're even a little hard on Apple. They also do a show called iOS Today with Micah Sargent and Rosemary Orchard. And if you're into iPads, iPhones, Apple Watches, or Apple TV, you'll love iOS Today. And of course, there's now Hands on Mac. Inside tips from Micah Sargent on getting you the most out of your Mac every week. Expert analysis, helpful advice, and entertaining discussion. So go to twit.tv slash Apple and find your next Apple podcast. And our thanks to Leo and the team for doing this swap with us. All right, Shannon, you mentioned being in service to your employees. That that may sound counter to what most people are thinking. What 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 do you mean by that? Yeah, I, what I mean, it, you know, we're we're talking about being authentic and, you know, benefits and things. But one of the uh, best ways I found to get employees and change their frame of what the boss is and, the, you know, management this and kind of uh, shift how that relationship work is to be of service to them and doing things like 
cooking them lunch, barbecue, you know, like we used to do this Friday barbecue or I would cook for everybody, you know, almost every week yep. or, uh, it, one I just saw on Twitter was a guy mentioned, you know, Hey, you need to empty the trash as a small business owner, because it's important that everybody chips in. And that's a very, uh, powerful message. And, and I responded, I said, yeah, actually going around to your employees areas and empty the trash is incredible. And even if you have janitorial oh, services, yeah. it, you know, there, you, you know, if you look back, um, uh, rulers and, you know, monarchies and things, the, the whole concept was to be in service to the people. You got elevated to a certain level, you got certain perks, but you're supposed to be working in the best interest of, you know, quote your subjects. But if you, if you, you just like analogy, our, our politicians do here in, oh, in the yeah. United States, <laughs> wrong show. Uh, but <laughs> you're right. You're right. I think but that's I mean, the first time I brought politics up. It's going to yeah. be the last. Don't get, don't worry. Yeah. 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 But if yeah. you take that analogy as a business owner and think, okay, I really want to get these employees on and on our side that we want to be team members and we want to achieve great things together, especially if you're a small business and maybe you don't have big budgets or stock options to give to them and you know, this kind of stuff, those simple steps of, uh, being of service to your employees are powerful feeding them, especially with food, because food that gets big. everybody relaxed. You get to sit around and, and then you're serving them and then you're cleaning up, you know, everybody usually, you know, obviously chips in to help and stuff, sure. but when they see you, there doing that work to benefit them. It's a powerful message that you, you can't tell people that you just have to do it. No, it, it's, it's the action speaks louder than words in this scenario is absolutely truth. Um, yeah, I, and we've, we've talked about this in the past, but this concept, yep. the way it, it crystallized in my head, it was, I think a couple of years ago that, you know, I, I wound up saying to a friend being an entrepreneur is a blue collar job. And yeah, no matter what you do, no matter what you do, <laughs> right. It, because first of all, you have to be willing to do those things that other people would perceive as below your station. I don't want to say that they are below your station because like you said, somebody's going to take out the trash. It's no big deal if it's you, you know, like, I, and, and if right. you're, if you're an entrepreneur, I'm not saying anything you haven't already in, internalized. You may have, you, you may not have like thought about this, but you probably also don't hesitate to empty the trash or clean the toilets or the other things that just need to get done. At some point you might hire somebody to do that stuff so that you can focus on other things, but you're not hiring them to do it because you're it's below you. You're hiring That's them to exactly do it right. because it's more efficient that way. Right. It, you know, and uh, because your time is better spent doing other things in service of the business. But if somebody, if the toilet needs to get entered, if somebody needs to run the deposit to the bank, if somebody needs to pick up the phone, you, you know, if, if somebody else doesn't do it, it's you. And yeah. And the people who fail one group, there's some people I've failed at business and I, I know this lesson, but I, you know, uh, a lot of the failure I see of, First time entrepreneurs are folks who don't get this yet. I don't want to say they don't get it because I, yet I think is the important phrase. You, you, you can, you can learn this uh, trait and this behavior, but you, you need to go and, and you know, it's the folks who are resistant to doing the grunt work and, and not just the emptying the trash, but the, you know, the data entry part, the boring part of the, the work that needs to be done Somebody's got to do it. And if you're the only person in your business, it's you, you know? Yeah. And I think yeah. you can do it in such a way to be really be useful when you see someone struggling with something. It's the same thing. I always told my kids, Hey, you know, these four power, powerful words, how can I help? And, and they, th your employees, especially new employees, they, they don't expect the owner of the business or the boss quote, you know, to come over and say, Hey, how can I help? How can I, you know, and I used to often do it by ensuring my employees had the right tools. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if I noticed that they were struggling or their, you know, the computer they were using was having problems and I, you know, I'd just be like, Hey, you know, wh what do you need to, to make your job more enjoyable, more effective, more, you know, productive? Cause it's, it's going to be better for me as well. But 
you know, taking the time to, to have that kind of relationship when, you know, and, and it starts small. I, I go back to the food thing. You just can't beat it. You know, whether if you don't cook, I don't know, figure something out, right. You know, bring, go bring food for everybody and then clear the table or whatever. But, uh, that it's a powerful thing that you don't read it in about it much in business books. And no, you don't. I, yeah, it's, you don't. You gotta have some humility. Be humble, but that's it. I mean, yeah, it's a re I, really this is a lesson in humility. It, it is, is 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 really where it comes from. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's also learning to ramp your ego up and down. You know, ego is really powerful as and, a tool. Uh, ego as is a tool. powerful, correct? Right. But correct. it doesn't mean you yeah. always swing the hammer, right? No, you, you don't always no, no, use no. your ego, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. And and you. you when you ramp your ego up, it may be in your head that it needs to live the most as you're telling yourself, I'm, I'm, you know, going to power through this. I'm the, yeah. I'm good at this, da, 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 da. But when you ramp it down and, and, uh, you know, give out that humility and help being helpful and all that stuff, you, you really, it builds tremendous loyalty on with yeah. your team. I had one guy when, you know, I lost control of, of one business I had at one time and it, 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 it's a long story, but one of my employees, this guy had been with us, me for, you know, seven or eight years. And he, he came into my office one day and said, Hey, you know what? If, if this all goes away, I'll come work for you in your garage for free until yeah. we get back on our feet. And I'm thinking, this is a guy that I've barbecued before <laughs> that I've barbecued for <laughs> many yes. times yes. and, and helped him out and made sure his daughter had a laptop, you know, because he couldn't on and on and on. But that, that connection with your uh, employees Man, that's huge. It's man. powerful. Yeah. And it and it transcends even your business because I did lose that company and he did this person did come work for me literally the day after to start a new business. And it's critically important. And it wasn't just him, it was a few other folks. Yep. So, you know, be that way, be of service to your employees and uh share how you've done it with us. Feedback at businessbrain.show. Help tune our business brain and uh share your stories and you could win a MacBook Air. Yeah, that's true. Everything that we read on the show or every email that we incorporate into the show, whether we read it verbatim or we use your idea for a topic or whatever it might be, you get entered into the drawing for a MacBook Air. And uh, your chances are good, folks. You can, you know, you, you see how many episodes we do. It's like this. It's not that many. So, you, you know, your chances are good. Feedback at businessbrain.show. Make sure you check out our sponsor, Pearl Diver at PearlDiver.io. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening and keep living that charmed life. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>